Hello, everyone. Welcome to another year of Celebrate East Lyme uh, Day in Niantic, Connecticut. This is an annual thing that we do here. People come by the thousands from all over the place. There are lots of local vendors and you know, all kinds of stuff. We're going to walk through, so you're going to get a feel for it. For those that are watching uh, in the local groups that uh, are have ties to the area but can't make it here for whatever reason, I do these every year just so that you can stay connected to the area. Uh, so we're going to take a walk and we're going to see all of the great things there are to see here in Niantic, Connecticut. The first thing I'm going to do is change it so that you can see it. This platform, unfortunately, doesn't make it very easy, but it's better than just streaming on the Facebook. All right, we're going in. Connecticut Right to Life. That's the first booth we see here. How you doing? Beautiful day, isn't it? A little warm compared to what? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Look at all the people. There are thousands upon thousands of people here. And we've got some jewelry here. No fair would be complete without jewelry. These knees, spirits and scoops. Ah, munchy food truck. Yes, yeah, so there'll be plenty of munchy food trucks here. Safe and sound. How you doing? How are you? Good. So what are you guys all about? Hi. So I'm Kathy Christensen. Got to speak up though to make sure to Gary. I'm Kathy Christensen. So I am here with uh, to share my, my farm, Safe and Sound Equine Assistant Services. I'm a certified mental health um, equine, equine specialist in mental health. Mental health for horses. Mental health for people. Oh, people. <laughs> With horses. <laughs> sharing, sharing the horses and the environment and how they move and how they communicate, their facial expressions, learning their, their body language and how we move around them mm. and how we can, we can learn from their, their uh, body language and their movements. Very interesting. Yep. And I have a small program. I'm getting off the ground. I'm in a new business. I'm only two years old. Okay. I've lived in East Lyme for 30 years, and we've had horses. Uh, we're on the north end of town by the state forest. Okay. And so um, my small herd is uh, made up of four, Alfie, Kiowa, Brownlee, and Duke. And um, they all have their own special needs, just like all of us. Okay. So I'm, I'm, if you're learning to be safe and learn how to get on and have a, a be a beginner person, yeah, and enjoy the nature and the okay. woods, and the forest around you, yeah, it's a place yeah, to go. If you want to be a high-end competitor, hunter, jumper, it's probably not the barn for you. All right. Yeah. Well, great to That's talk great. to you. Me too. Where are you have a great day. I live right in town. I always do. I do a lot of uh, videos. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi. I've got some old school maps here from way back in the day. Hi, how are you? Are you interested in maps? I'm just recording it for those folks that are from the area but not able to be here. Okay. So well, tell us a little bit about you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Grace. I'm a cartographer in real life, and the antique maps are my hobby. So it, the project is Living History Maps. Livinghistorymaps.com. Yeah. So it's rescue, restore, reprint. So okay. I, I, they're reproductions. I'm working with high quality files from museums and I touch them up in Photoshop, reprint them um, on a locally on a kind of a thick card stock that I can then dip in coffee. Ah. So to, yeah, to distress them. And then... Um, oh, it makes them look old. Exactly. Exactly. Very so cool. So I'm not trying to trick you, but you know, they're kind of like theater props. Of course. You know, reproductions. Well, very nice work. Thank you. So livinghistorymaps.com. That's where you find them. Oh, looks 
like uh, beachy themed stuff here. What did you want? How you doing? Good. Who are you and what do you do? My name's Key and I crochet. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, paying my way through college. Okay, great. Yeah. Very nice stuff here. Thank you. And our friends at Family Pizza. Oh, if you haven't been here, you got to come check them out. And they have this giant, giant hot dog that they're world famous for. You got to come check them out. Doing kind of the zigzag today. All right, painted rocks. How you doing? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, being a car guy from way back when, anytime I see cars, I used to have a bunch of cars in my youth. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm a yeah, car guy good. from way back. And this is just a small selection of what we carry. Ah, okay. A toy store down in the Westbrook Outlet Mall, old time toys. Westbrook Mall. Yeah, the Westbrook Outlet Mall. Definitely come and see us. Have your folks follow us online. We have all kinds of great stuff. We have a website. We constantly do in-store activities. We have sidewalk chalk day. I've got train tables for the kids to play on. It's a great experience. Awesome. I love cars, so Alrighty. great stuff. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. We have Casanova remodeling. Are you the Casanova? I am Pico, my boss and my friend are the Casanovas. Uh -huh. Yes, we do all exterior work. We do windows, roofing, siding, gutters, gutter topper, as you can see from our demonstrator over here. Ah, so you never have to clean the gutters. Exactly. Got it. And we do one better than leaf guard. Yeah, but if you have this, then you can't fall off the roof and get hurt. I know, you know, that's like my third favorite thing to do during the fall. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Fall during the fall. Exactly, you know? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Take a car, boss. Uh, you know what? My pockets are going to be so stuffed by the time I'm done walking this whole thing. I get you. Water? All right. So we have a lemonade and iced tea kit here. And water. Too. And water, too. Wow. Where's your booth? It's all over there. I'm oh, trying to get customers. On the, on the corner, right? Yeah. Wow. All right. Here. So tell us about your booth, kid. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, this is yeah. the entrepreneurial spirit in the making here. All right. Yeah. He's way down from where the booth is. The booth is on the corner, and he's promoting the business. Yeah, and we're, we're making a lot of money. You know, kid, yeah. you have a future well, not, in marketing, let me two, tell you. Uh, two, uh, a couple of weeks ago when they did that craft show down here, yeah. we made $700. Wow, $700. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. All right, so. Do you want to get some? Well, on the way back, maybe. All right, I, perfect. Yeah, because yeah, I have to hold the camera. Is this for YouTube? Uh, it's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, the White Tablecloth. Right. And then locally, it's in um, Support Niantic Biz. All right. Cool. All, All right. Keep going. You're doing great. All right. Ah, marketing, huh? At such an early age. I remember when I was first getting my first lawn jobs and shoveling accounts. And now to see this kid out here with a big sign promoting his lemonade stand, that's pretty cool. Speaking of cool, this is pretty cool. What do you guys do? You make this? You got to speak really loud or come this way. Otherwise, they can't hear you. And if they can't hear you, eh, you're missing out. It's fluid art. It's fluid art, um, functional art. Okay. So how do you make it? Um, everything is uh, painted with acrylics okay. in different techniques. Yeah. Um, and then either embellished <laughs> with... A little, you know. Okay, um, I got you. It's like the turtles and stuff? Yeah. Or just left plain. Nice work. Thank you. 
And then it's resin over the top, so it's, you know, sealed. It stays, yeah. stays uh, these, the coasters are rated up to 450 degrees. So wow. You can put anything on these. Um, yeah. So if you die and go to hell, you can take these with you. You could. They'll be safe. They, they wouldn't melt. <laughs> you would melt before they do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good luck today. Thanks. All right. That looks pretty, like some pretty cool stuff. Oh, we don't want to miss the other stuff here. Yeah. And we have more stuff here. How you doing? Ah, nails. Yeah. You're doing nails here today? Yeah, um, we have a business over there. This is our portion. What's the name of it? Anchor Nails. Anchor Nails. Yeah. And where where is it? Right back here? Yeah, right back here next to the uh, Groton Salt Cave. Okay. Oh, next to the Salt Cave. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Next to that uh, great breakfast place, T&B. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Everybody gets their nails done. So now you have a new place, if you haven't heard of them before, to come check them out. Thank you. Oh, nice colorful outfits here. On a hot day, you don't need to be a fortune teller to be able to predict that this shaved ice stand here is going to make a lot of money because everybody wants it. Oh, the hot sauce guy. I remember this guy from another venue. Hey, B. Hold on a second. Hey, hot sauce guy. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? All right, sauce guy, tell us about your sauce. All right, here's what's going on. Pepper Junction, I'm out of Richmond, Rhode Island, located at Jules Antiques and General Store. I carry local, regional, nationally award-winning products. All right, so we have hot sauce, barbecue sauce, barbecue dry rubs. Those are crafted and, and uh, crafted for competition right out of Texas. They don't fool around. I have uh, spicy condiments that include uh, spicy ketchup, mustard, habanero maple syrup, Ooh. Uh, ghost pepper blackberry jam. Ghost pepper, two million Scovilles on uh, the, on one the million. rate. But one million? It's, it's, it's calmed down in the jam. In the jam, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, the jam, it's, it's it's more about the oh no i'm thinking about the reaper the reaper's, the reaper's two, million. two million yeah right. yeah i have sauces down there i have the reaper at my house yep i have a few of those yeah flavor first it's all about the flavor first all about the yeah, flavor absolutely awesome well good luck here thank you I love hot sauce is like nobody's Did you try the um the spicy shark is now who are you with what do you do i'm a local guy with a camera oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah promotes a lot of stuff online yeah, take my business card. Sure. No problem. By the time I'm done, I'm going to have like 5 million business cards. I won't be able to walk. That's all right. Well, even them out. Each pocket. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a belt on. <laughs> <laughs> I, was reading, I was reading over your shoulder. Oh, That's okay. Yeah, they look a little bit busy, so I don't want to bother people when they're very busy. Uh, here, it looks like we have some pottery type stuff. How you doing? Oh, that's good. All right. So what is all this stuff? Uh, this is handmade pottery. Um, make it to go with the sea, the nautical style. You make this stuff yes. yourself? Uh -huh. wow. I do. And my mom makes magnets and tiles. Oh, I love the little clam things here. Check out the clam, huh? Very nice. Wedding dress. My mother's wedding dress. You should wear it in the audience. Oh, no, she See how they run. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Good. Nice how to see you. you. Tell us about this. Well, this is our seventh season. We only do comedies. This is funnier than any comedy. I don't know no joke. No joke. 
And it's a British farce set in a vicarage in England in the countryside. Blimey. I'll tell you that. And we have a sassy maid named Ida. We have a church lady named Miss Skillen, and we have nine bits. And everybody's chasing everybody, oh and we have one we can't place. And it goes so fast, it's so funny, it's so rib tickling. The audience goes home exhausted because it's just non stop crazy fun and so wonderfully written by Philip King. Um, well, you do great, great productions. You know, last I think it was last summer I had a chance to, to catch one of them because I'm always traveling for work, so I yeah. have to miss out on a bunch of stuff. But yeah, this one I don't I'd like want to try to make to this miss. one. I, August. Saturday, yeah. Our opening night is Saturday, July. 29th. Saturday is the fifth. August. Oh, July 29th is Saturday. And then yes, because the, the, the concerts are in the band show on Fridays. Got so it. we run, run Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, August third. We shut down for Friday for the concert, and then okay. our last two shows are Saturday and Sunday, August 5th and 6th. Can um, they find you online? At, at Theater Under the Shell on Facebook. Theater Under the Shell on Facebook. And we Check also them out. have an Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Same thing? Theater Under the Shell? Yep. On and, Instagram. Um, you come at 5.30 to get set up because it's really popular. Yeah. And You bring, like, food or stuff, right? And yeah, stuff, you bring right? your picnics. Cool. And then you sit back and just enjoy it. There's always a breeze at the Cooks Point Park. And I have the best cast this year, just the best. Awesome. And um, you'll have a blast. It's just so funny. Well, and I'm looking forward to it, and it's always great to see you. It's great to see you, too. You look wonderful. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> It'll swell my head, so I must leave now. <laughs> That's Joyce Pouveau. She She's the uh, person that puts that stuff together. She does a wonderful job. Her shows are really, really fun. All right, so we have Save the River, Save the Hills. They look a little tied up there. I don't want to interrupt. I hate to interrupt people when they're in the middle of their stride. <laughs> All right, you got punch, Bob. Where's square pants? Wrong Bob. Ah, wrong Bob. So tell us about your uh, dojo? Dojo. Yes. Dojo. That's so we're it. over in Old Sacrum. Okay. Right where Walmart is? Do you know where Walmart is? I have no sense of direction, but okay. we, can put right it in the, the river. we put it in the nav system and find it. Okay. So you guys so, do karate and self-defense? We do the self-defense aspect of martial arts. There's a okay. and there's an art. Yeah. We do the art. Oh. Our primary concern is to give you some kind of knowledge and skill just in case something goes wrong. Right. Excellent. All right, so come check these guys out. So blend above gourmet food products. Here we have Savvy Crochets. Nice work. Ah, there's my friend Karen. You did. How'd that happen? Yeah. I just, I, just, hello there. How are you? I'm with Arban. I'm Karen Doherty. And I'm happy to be here celebrating East Slime and having East Slime Day with all of these wonderful vendors. So, why Arban? Why? Why Arban? Yeah, why? Oh my gosh, I love that question. So Arban is a plant-based health and wellness company. We're um, conscious, connected, and clean. So there you go. Conscious, right, connect, clean, info. conscious, and connected. Cool. So, Always great to see you. Thanks. It's great to see you. Have a great show. Have a great day. How you doing? 
rings and other jewelry products. Right, we're going to get a cameo of the camera guy taking a picture. <laughs> All right, tell us about the Lions Club for the one or two people on the planet that might not know what you do. We are the largest service organization in the whole world with about uh, 15 million members. Wow. Um, and uh, we, our, our, our chapter here, our club was established about 73 years ago. So okay. uh, Lions were established shortly after World War II in about uh, the year 1919. And um, anyway, um, we serve all different organizations. We have about five basic missions, and the missions revolve around hunger, uh, pediatric cancer, environment, um, eyes. eyes, vision, um, at least this one, and diabetes. All right. And they're expanding it to, to another four types of goals and missions, and that's disaster, youth, and uh, oh, I forget what that last one is. I'm always, I'm always It's all right. This is not a test. Anyway, the the bottom anyway, line is you do some great things, and you, you're do. here as part of Celebrate East Lyme Day. We, we are. We are. And, and we love that. We're glad to be here. Hey, how are you? Here for many years. You're and, a lion uh, as well? And all, our, all our cattle corn, all the proceeds goes to our charity, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank great. you for all you do. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, how are you? And I got both hands full. I can't eat now. Come nice back. to see you. All right. Oh, we don't want to mess this stuff on the other side here. More uh, beachy themed stuff. How you doing? So tell us about your stuff. Um, it's handmade uh, from me, and I use a laser to do it. Um, mostly mm -hmm. earrings, but a little bit of other stuff, keychains, earrings, stands throughout. Very cool. How long does it take you to make a, you know, one of these? Um, it kind of depends from the design process because I designed them all. Okay. Um, so counting that is definitely longer. That would probably be 10, 15 minutes to make the um, computer file. And then the laser only takes a few minutes to cut it. Okay. And then again, another few minutes for me to assemble. Ah, well, you do great work. Thank you. All right. So you only have until 9 o'clock, people. So come on down. You want, oh, look at this here, huh? It looks great. Viva la vida. Looks like fresh juice, fruit cups. Perfect for a hot day like today. My dog's place. Mm. How you doing? Hi, how's it going? Good. Tell us about your dog's place. My dog's place? Yeah. You should probably talk about She's a better representative. Who's that? This is the reigning. This yeah. one here? Yeah. And she was the dam for a long time. Ah. Uh -huh. I swear to God, she's I mean, that's the only dog in the Looks like they're tied up so hard to run. You have to check them out online. My dog's place. Well, here we have our friends at the East Lyme Democrats. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? This is Nick right here. Hey, are you live now? <laughs> I'm always live. I'm Hi always there. Live and wired for sound. Yeah, that's great. How you doing? Good, how are you? Excellent, excellent. 
Hello. Are you coming out to our Drag Brunch fundraiser next next week? He's in it. When? <laughs> You're, yeah, it's going to be at uh, next week. It's on um, the 23rd, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And we're what day be, of the week is it? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday brunch. Sunday, Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't even have to wear heels. Yeah. Huh. I can wear these. Oh, yeah. Show them what you got. <laughs> nice to see you. Hey! How you doing? We got Doreen and Tony, right, Tony? Yeah. We walk by your house every day, you know that, right? And every time I point out to Paula, oh, that's where Tony and Doreen live. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> Must he say it one more time? And then every time we walk by Lake Avenue, I said, oh, look, it's John Lake Avenue. She says, keep walking. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Enjoy the day. Have a good day. It looks like uh, comic books here. Comic books and old cars. And our coastal friends, coastal crab. Our dogs wear coastal crab wear. They have uh, sweatshirts that they wear that they've passed on from one to the other. T-shirts and sweatshirts, really cool stuff. And hats too. Now. Wow, they really expanded. Hey, chiropractic. Ah, the America League. The field is finally done. It was done. Yes, we are on our phase two right now, which is um, the yeah. accessible bathrooms. Yeah. Accessible bathroom. That's the next um, part. Um, we'll be here. She's bringing that for that soon. Awesome. And then um, after that, we start fundraising for our fully accessible playground. Wow. Great. Wow. This is going to do some great things for a lot of kids. Definitely. I've been involved in some of the fundraisers for this organization. Hey, Dave, how hey, are you? Hey, well, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. How's everything? All right? Great. Excellent. Oh, that's a pizza truck there. We're going to the pizza right. festival tomorrow. No worries. Ah, lobster rolls. Ah, this is the little, looks like Little Pup's uh, mobile lobster machine here. How you doing? You guys are in Old Saybrook, right? Yeah, we're in Old Saybrook. All right, I've been there once, and it was really good. So tell tell everybody else about it. Yeah, so um, we're at Little Pub. We have five locations, Wilton, Stratford, Fairfield, Greenwich, and Old Saybrook. Um, but we're out of the Old Saybrook trucks, so here we have the lobster pot, and then we have uh, pizzas over there. Oh, that's yeah. the pizza thing. So we're we're all together, but the restaurant has all different types of things: burgers, crabs, tacos, anything you really want, wings, everything like that. And the service was phenomenal. I just want to add that in because, like I said, <laughs> we've been there. I'm glad to hear that. Have a great day. You have a great one. All right, what do we have here? We have the oh my god, milkshake truck. Oh my god, why, why? That's all that does is why does there have to be a milkshake truck here? Must be strong, must be strong, must resist. Oh, you know what? I've missed all these comments here. Wow, I'm so busy jabbering away. Oh, Paulette, the fried dough is all the way on the other end. I haven't made it that far yet. Nancy Parks, wish I was there. Surely it's cooler than it is here. Have fun. That's, the, oh, that's Tucker's teacher. Okay, I, you know, I didn't remember the name, so I'll make sure to go back then. Go ahead, walk right by. Oh, you're going this way. I could. You so going I, that I, way? Yeah, I didn't want to get in your screen. Ah, oh, no problem. I get in other people's screens all the time. That's what I do. <laughs> See, he didn't want to get in the screen, but here he is. He's on the screen. <laughs> you got to have fun. That's how I look at it. If you don't have fun, what's the point of being? All right, what do we have here? Oh, Niantic wear. 
and other stuff. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to go back. There isn't enough time. I want to cover a bunch of stuff. And I could say hi to the, uh, the dog seats for another time. Wow, that guy's really enjoying himself. He's got food all over his face. If I did that, my wife would give me hell, let me tell you. Niantic River Watershed, a treasure worth protecting. minute the ghost of Jimi Hendrix is going to come out and start playing all right this is the new Niantic Bay Playhouse okay it used to be a movie theater it is now a playhouse you look like the perfect spokesperson I may be perfect but I don't know about that spokesperson well I'd go with the spokesperson part anyway but that's just me all right tell us about this place okay it is a playhouse, live plays, live plays, musicals, and we do some dramas and stuff too. Uh, it is uh, my daughter, Erin Stanley. I met her. She is the curator and the, the artistic director of this place. Uh, nice lady, too. Yes, yeah, she is. My daughter. <laughs> but... Uh, She's been doing East Line Regional Theater for, I think, around 12 years. Okay. She's uh, been directing in uh, Stonington High School, her and her husband, for okay. over 20 years. They do all their plays and stuff. What's the website that they go to to find out about shows and things like that? It is. Niantic Bay Playhouse. Niantic Bay Playhouse. Org. Check them out. Lots of great, great plays. You'll have lots of fun. And it's a great area because you can do the boardwalk by day and come see a play after that. Do Plus, have, all of the delectable restaurants, restaurants. in the area. And within 200 feet, there's, I think there's six or seven restaurants. I've been to all of them multiple times. Yep. And they're all very good. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. That's Niantic Bay Playhouse. Definitely want to check them out because they're nice people. All right, so here we have East Slime High School. Please support 2024. Water for the puppy, that's funny. That guy looks really official. I see, I see a lot of sweat on the floor. Ah, Cheryl's Bayside Studio. She makes really cool beachy themed stuff. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? All right, tell us about your stuff. This is Cheryl's Bayside Studio, and I have a lot of nautical things. I have pebble art. That's my newest thing. I go to the beaches, collect pebbles, and create art out of it, which is pretty cool. And I have my seascape frames over there, and uh, just a lot of fun. You do a unique work. Very nice uh, stuff you do. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so come on down and check out Cheryl's. Bayside Studio. Look at some of the stuff she makes here. Right? You want something different for your house? Nautical theme, beachy theme? Cheryl's your girl. Because you're not gonna find too many things like that. Good. Are you guys the Vikings? Yes. We're the Vikings paid for, playing for. All right. So tell us about that. 
Oh, so it's a nonprofit organization put together by the students okay. to help um, support some of the community that can't afford to register for um, some of the sporting events in town. Nice. And we're also collecting gently used um, equipment. And our next collection date is August 18th, uh, August 19th at um, Brybrook, okay. 10 to 12 where we're collecting gently used equipment and we're going to be able to store it and give it back to those who can't afford it in the community. And then how do they find you online? Perfect. So we have a website and it's www.vikingsplayitforward.org. Awesome. And you can also find us on Facebook. Great. Yes. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, Arthur Murray Dance Studio. We took uh, dance lessons when we got married, and we rocked our wedding dance. We rocked that wedding dance. Look at They even teach dogs how to dance. Look at that, huh? You think you've seen it all? Oh, no. You haven't seen it all until you've seen a dancing dog. Does he tango? Yeah, we really enjoy taking dance lessons here. They're very good. How are you doing? Yeah, no worries, sir. No worries. Excellent. Hi. Hi. All right, so tell us about your stuff. Go for it. Oh, gosh. We want, you know, if there's a guy and a woman, and it's a tell us about your stuff, the guy always gets up, moves over, and points to the woman. Right? Go for oh, it. Yeah. Every yeah. single time. We're yeah. a husband and wife business. There you go. And a sister. No, um, this is a family-owned business. We are RX Crystals. We're out of Bristol, Connecticut. Um, my sister and I and my husband run it together. We have high quality crystals at affordable pricing and we're ethically sourced. Awesome. How do they find you online? Uh, we have a website, rxcrystals.com. rxcrystal.com. Yeah, we have cards here. Uh, wait, hold on, I was kidding. And we have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Awesome. And an All actual right. physical store. And an actual physical store. Yep. yep. In Bristol. Yep. Uh, now he speaks up, right? Yeah, right now, After right. you started it off, now he's jumping in. Like Good luck today. One. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, cold drinks and we have cookies, it looks like. And pizza. Ooh. Thank you. This is Vincitore Pizza. They opened a few years here in Niantic, Connecticut. They're right downtown. You can sit over there, right? Right next to the Auto Parts Store and Giuliano's Bakery. So we're going to check them out. Hey, the coffee guy. I'm all sweaty Betty. It so. is, it is. You guys sit up down there? No, no, no. Now the store, the store is really busy, so right. it's a little too warm to be doing this. There so tell go. us about you, coffee guy. Well, here we are, Niantic, one more year for uh, Celebrate East Lime. It's, uh, we got the perfect weather for it. Um, I'm down here serving up some nice cold nitro coffee, and I've got four flavors of kombucha. You can come down and get yourself a cup to enjoy here, take some home with you. And we also are out uh, introducing our new children's book. Ah. Which is uh, how we named our business after a 17-year-old dog named Max that woke up every morning wagging his tail. So we have uh, autographed copies of that down here. And who knows? We might even be giving away puppies. Whoa. You never know. You never know. Hey, come on down. Great to see you, man. Great to see you. Have a great one. All right. We don't want to miss anything. But if somebody's tied up, I'm not going to interrupt them. We got steel craft here. It looks like cutting boards. Drift 
Med Spa and Shop. Now they just opened up recently. How you doing? All right, you guys just opened up. So oh, gosh, you have to wait for I know. We try to wait till the owner gets back. Uh, so here. Yeah, we'll, well, how far is she? She's walking on the streets, so let's see. Uh huh. Are you, is it just, are you like I'm walking through. Are you like, We're I'm live right now. Oh, great. Oh, thanks. Hi. <laughs> I'm always live, so okay. there's an expectation that you're yeah. going to be on okay. camera. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's dripped. Um, it's a bed spa and gift shop. And okay. they offer different services like lasers and peels and um, what do you say, injections, IV, hydration therapy. Um, and then also they sell skincare lines like Elta MD, um, PCA skincare and Skin Better. And then uh, an organic, all natural skincare line out of Texas, which is Farmhouse Fresh. Awesome. Um, yep. And then also have a little gift shop type thing where they have different like teas and vitamins and like sunglasses and jewelry so just a lot of different website uh it says glow on me and yep and drip yep uh we have our gift card there <laughs> not gift card our uh, business card yep right there oh okay there's and, the phone number and the yep, and i can turn it over there on the back has the information email and the web address great thank you yeah. Very hot. Ooh, the apple cider donut, the donut people. The donuts are really good. Take it from somebody who's had many of them, probably too many. And we have, uh, looks like clothing here, clothing and pants. Oh, we got more comments. All right, so the lady wearing the green shirt is Tucker's teacher. Hey, Mike Vogel, how you doing? Angie Parks, Vikings, what a wonderful idea. Yeah, right? You know, there's so many great things going on in my area here. People really looking forward to helping other people out. I mean, it's just wonderful. You know, between now and when you drop dead, you have to ask yourself, how have you impacted the world that you live in? What good have you done and how have you changed people's lives? That's really what should guide everything that you do. Bake, bake, hooray. All right, there we are. Oh, make a wish foundation. That's a full truck, huh? Hey. Yeah. All right, there we have the hot dog truck. For those that love hot dogs, like me. Thank you, Stan. All right, how about you want the organization going around? We are Wishes on Wheels, the truck convoy to benefit Make-A-Wish. All right, so tell us. Uh, I'm Tucker. I work with uh, Make-A-Wish Connecticut. Well, Wishes on Wheels. We're a truck convoy to benefit Make-A-Wish Connecticut. We're hosting our convoy, I believe, on the uh, 24th this year, right? 24th of this year, September. It's going to happen up at the Rensselaer Field in East Hartford. Every single penny goes right towards Make a Wish, and we'll also be hosting this raffle day of. You can win an RC car, the moped next to me, the quad also on my side. How about the truck? Can we win the truck? The truck is just for show, but it will be a part of the convoy. We usually have it lead. Uh, you can also win a four day trip to Maine. Tickets themselves are 20 bucks. Every Maine. single penny. Did you say Maine? Yep, four day trip to but Maine. But you can't get there from here. Well, take the highway. <laughs> All right. Every penny goes right to the Make-A-Wish Foundation in Connecticut. It's great. It helps the Wish kids out a lot. Some of them say it was the wish they wanted. They never know they had. Awesome stuff. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you for what you guys do. So come on down here and support this great organization. Drive sober or get pulled over? What do we have here? Sports raffle tickets. Oh, 
I know who you are. Yeah, so and tell us, tell us about this. So we're giving away, we're giving a raffle for this for the sunshine kids. Yeah. Really oh with yeah. Cancer. Yep. So the raffle is here. There also is a mystic cruise that we're giving away. Five dollars a kids. Now, just to let you guys know, the Sunshine Kids is an incredible organization. You can visit them on the web at sunshinekids.org. What they do. When kids have cancer, really the whole family has cancer. And uh, it's, it's a lot for the kid, but it's a lot for the family too. So what this organization does is they take those kids and they take them on trips with nursing staff, medical staff, and the kids get to be just kids for that trip, a day, a few days, and at the same time, the parents and the rest of the family get to unwind for just a little bit. And it's just such an incredible organization. We've been very proud to be a part of it for many, many years. And the My Joy also, yeah. So I get a little emotional because, because of what it does, you know? It's a great experience. Many times, many times. Well, thank you. Thank you for what you guys do. So come on down here, see the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services booth where they are doing this to support the Sunshine Kids. Again, the website is sunshinekids.org. You have to check it out. They do so much good. Um, that's why I got a little emotional. Hey, Ruth. Good, how are you? So come on down and check them out. Oh, pork truck. Why did I have to see this? Empanadas, sandwiches, rice and beans. Oh my God, this is not good. This may not end well. And I have dinner reservations at 530. So I must be strong and must resist. But you don't have to. All right, if you want a gyro, man, this is the place. Check this up. This is like large scale. How are you doing? Excellent. Wow. Oh, you got to come check out this bean stop uh, truck here. They have all the things that I love. people here today. Ah, the Flanders Fish Market booth. One of my favorite places in town here. We love going there. All their stuff is really good. 
And fun fact, their burgers are like the bomb. You would not expect a burger to be good at a fish place. Let me tell you, their burgers kick ass. Just saying. How you doing? Good. Oh, and that cocktail sauce? Oh, my God. Tears of joy. Got two in my fridge as we speak. I had some last night with some shrimps. Yeah. Awesome stuff. You got you to gotta come down and check out their stuff here and visit their restaurant, Flanders Fish Market in the Flanders Four Corners. We love it. Great service, great family. They do lots of good stuff. Hey, here's my friend right here. How are you doing? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be over there helping out. The bags are all on the table. When they need me, they'll call me. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you always, man. Where's, Where's Floresia? Oh, no, no booth. I'm just coming through here with the camera. Okay. The store's in full swing. We decided to not, not do here this year. Okay. Well, she's at work, man. Good Always to great see to you. see you, man. All right, brother. Ice cold lemonade and kettle corn. Who doesn't love kettle corn? Ooh, Italian ice, too. If I didn't have Miss Cutie Pie's dog treats. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Is that Miss Cutie Pie? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so tell us about your stuff. All natural, soy, corn, whole wheat free, yeah. for dog's digestion. And we have all these um, soft treats. There's chicken, bacon, peanut butter, and beef sticks. And, the and then there's our peanut butter crunchy hearts and our dental sticks. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Made of rice paper. Yeah, so they're rice. Oh, wow. Yes. Awesome. Well, good luck today. Also oh. donate a dollar to Cottage League off of every purchase. And how can they find you? Are you, do you have a retail? Yeah. Uh, no, we sell at vendor fairs. Oh, okay. And we sell at treats in different stores. You're online. How do they find you online? MissCutiePies.com. MissCutiePies.com. Yep. Beautiful. Great. Thank All right. You. Good Thank luck you. today. Thank you. I mentioned how much I love living in this area. Oh no. Oh no. They make their own fudge. Oh no. That's gumdrops and lollipops. I've got more ice cream here than most humans should be allowed to have. I've had. My favorite is the rum raisin waffle cone and uh, also malted milk balls. I love malted milk balls. And what's cool about gumdrops and lollipops is they have the old school candies, all kinds of old school candies. So when you go inside, you see like stuff that you remember from your youth. If you're old like me, they're all over. Oh yeah, and wax lips too. <laughs> so come check out gumdrops and lollipops. They are right at the entrance of hole in the wall beach all right we're making our way down towards the end here Fresh squeezed lemonade. Man, who doesn't love fresh squeezed lemonade? Handmade waterproof jewelry. Oh, strawberry filters.
Right, there we have our East Lime Republican friend. How you doing? How are you? Good. Where's Holly? She was here a little while ago before you came down. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Oh, the same time. Holly's everywhere. Holly's out there She's like 24 7, 365. More than anybody I know. When some you see every couple of years, you see Holly every day. She's at every single event you could possibly be at. All right, we have the East Lyme Historical Society, founded in 1897, a little bit before when I was born. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Well, um, Hold on. All right. Uh, I'm Dawn, I'm part of the East Lyme Historical Society. It's the first time back since the pandemic, so we just want to say that we're still here um, doing some networking with the East Lyme Library. Okay. Um, we have our archaeological dig coming up in August. Oh, how cool is that? It's an actual dig down at the Thomas Sweet House. Okay. So, um, yeah, it just kind of... What know, do you expect to find? We find all kinds of fun stuff. We found, we found Miss Coyne once. We have um, bits of pottery. We find a lot of pottery. Okay, um, cool. Pipe stems. Up. John nails. Lake says, have fun, special day, my old stomping grounds. <laughs> you know John Lake? Maybe. He used to live. He moved out of the area, but he was with Parks and Rec for a lot of years. Okay, maybe if I saw him, I would. I'm sure you would see him. So yeah. wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy the day. I don't got a few people there. Mary Kay, I wonder if that lady has a pink Cadillac. And Lauren is a sensi, uh, has a sensi business. Hi. You reached out to me like a year ago. I did, and you went totally blank. And then you can like. You do some nice work. Mini session today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you rather I invoice you or do you want to pay now? What oh, beautiful picture she's still in the huh? Oh, what are you doing? What's going to happen is I'm going to get other emails and it's going to get married. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's photography right on Main Street here. You can find her on the web or through social right there. Really, she does truly beautiful work. A true artiste in the photography world. Ah, more lemonade, it looks like. Maybe we can pull that behind her. Oh, the Colossal Cobasa. They were just at uh, the Arts and Crafts Festival uh, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> this looks like t shirt haven. I dyed t shirts, bring you back in time. Oh, thank you. No. Thank 
Oh, the bag people from that. We saw these. Hey, Paulette, if you're still watching, check this out. Remember these bags? Ah, we just saw these bags a couple of weeks ago. And we got the waffle wag. Looks like just a couple more things here. And then if you have little kids, um, everybody has something for them here. Because I'm going to show you in just a second here. There's a whole carnival going on. And the carnival means... Kids' rides from like back in the day. And fried dough. You know, it's killing me not to have fried dough right now because I have dinner reservations at uh, 5 30. But look at this. Huh? What kid? Looks like some big kids too. And that swing ride. On our way back, we're going to see if we can see Tucker's teacher. Ah, face painting. Come get your face painting. Children's author. Kids books, Oscars rescued. When I get in my car, I'm going to turn the AC at maximum cool. See, there are lots of people here today. So if you're looking for something fun to do, this goes until 9 o'clock. And at 9 o'clock, there are fireworks here. So you get to enjoy lovely Niantic. I love living here. And then you get to see fireworks. We have Mark Nickerson, our former first selectman. How are you, Mark? How are you, bud? Good. You're either at a Dave Matthews concert or here. Or, you know, yeah, or traveling. Or, or traveling. Yeah, you had a great vacation. Most of the time just selling insurance these days. Italy. You were just in Probably Italy. In selling insurance in Italy. Yeah. I wrote it off. I wrote it off. No, I didn't. I know how that works. All right. I know how that works. How you been? I've been great. Good. Absolutely Good. fantastic. Nice Good. to see you always. Take care. See ya. Nancy Robertson. Great job, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. You know what's great about this is that there are a lot of people that are connected to the area that don't live in the area but can't make it back here. And for those folks to see this, it really brings back uh, fond memories for them. Ah, uh, Jamaican beef patties. Yaman. Hey, Kevin Siri, my Paul. friend, how, are you, how are you? I'm doing well. Say a few words for the people out there. Come on down, great day, the weather's holding for us. Look at the street here in East Five, fantastic day. Lots of food, lots of crafts, lots of wonderful things. Come on down, enjoy the rest of the afternoon, early evening, and then fireworks at nine. Fireworks at nine. Night in the best town in Connecticut. Come on down. Niantic is definitely the best town. I'm proud to live here. And we're proud to have you, Paul. Thank Great you. to see you, Kevin. That's our first selectman, Kevin Seary, and my friend. Great town to live in. Like our little slice of heaven here. There's no place like Nyetha. I promise you that.
contemplating if I'm going to need to go home and change my shirt or not. Hey, how are you? How are you? All right, our friends at LJ Shoreline Realty. Yes, we are here. Good to see you. How Always you nice to see you. Yeah, having a good summer? Fantastic yeah, summer. Nice. Good, good. So what a turnout for the event, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. It's nice. It's nice to see support for the community. Yeah, and, thank and it's you nice for... to see all the stuff that you do. Oh, You're okay, always well, out there. Oh, I'm, I try. Yeah, we try. Do you know Lori? Of She's course. The of LJ Shoreline and we'll you know what's funny? Yeah. Is I get reintroduced to people so many times. Right. It's funny. It's and like you know everybody. It's yeah. like going to a, a family barbecue oh, yeah. and getting reintroduced to the cousins right, every time. Right. <laughs> Cousin Lori. <laughs> from, from last last year, this event. <laughs> and many others. Right, and, right. and this guy too, he's always yeah. on the scene too. He's, always, he's a good guy, Prashant. So, yeah. <laughs> nice to see Bye. you, you always. Have a great Enjoy day. the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Super people that live in this town. Not just because I live here, but they're just our super people that live in this town. Look at that. Everybody's having fun, eating snacks, buying stuff. Ooh, those fries look really good. Must resist. Must resist. Don't forget about Flanders fish. Come check them out. That kid's the perfect spokesman. Perfect spokesman, that kid. Dave the coffee guy. <laughs> Downtown Niantic. Our little slice of heaven. Just the other side here is the uh, boardwalk. The boardwalk is uh, beautiful. It's right on the water. And if you walk it from one end to the other and back, you will have walked 2.2 miles. It's a great scenic walk. Lots of fun. We do it uh, regularly. I missed your message there. My wife says you're my son Tucker's teacher. Call out. Meyer. He comes to your place. You're his teacher, I think. Call out if you're watching. Say Tucker, something. Tucker, the, the little the, toy, the little Yorkie. The little, oh, okay, okay. The yes. gray Yorkie. Okay. Yep. Actually, yep. Happy so, so no, tell us, tell us about your place. Uh, my dog's place. Yeah. Oh, my dog's place has been around. Gosh, for how long now? Twenty-five years. I've been with them for sixteen since wow. I got my first puppy. Okay. Um, 
and this is my dog Chaser. She just she's just about eight years old. Okay. Um, and the best thing about my dog's place is the training. Well, that's helping, why we're bringing Tucker because he needs some he needs help, some discipline. That boy. Helping families create relationships that are long term and positive. And I think that's Minnie's going to come too, right? Yeah, because so, they both need it. Yeah, that's the best thing we got. So. Chaser, for example, I got her when she was just a puppy. I was not, I didn't have enough skills yeah. to be able to handle it. And she has taught me so much. Say hi. Is she friendly? Yes, she is. Yes, good girl. Um, but she's, Chaser, yes, good stuff. Let's go. Chaser, I got us. Good girl. Wow. So she, um, yes, let's go. Leave it. She is very well behaved. She's doing a really good job. This yeah, especially with all these people. Yeah, it's very hard for her, and she's come a long way. Excellent. And she's the one that taught me, so ah. I, I I learned it all from her. All right. so, so, yeah, I think the best thing that we've got going is the training, helping people find that awesome relationship with their dog. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So it's my dog's place in East Lyme and Stonington. Check him out. Our dog goes there. Our second dog is about to go there as well uh, because they need a little bit of uh, training. And uh, we're very happy thus far uh, coming to my dog's place. Wow, I don't know what happened to the camera. It just kind of, uh, just kind of bounced there for a second. This platform is a little bit temperamental. But anyway, so I hope that this connected a lot of you who are from the area that uh, did not get a chance to come back for Celebrate East Lime Day. Uh, every year we do this just to connect everybody back to the area. A lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little on the warm side, but you know what? It's all in good fun, so a lot of nice people here today, a lot of nice foods, and a lot of people that support the area. So I would say come on down, it runs until 9 o'clock tonight, at which time the fireworks happen. Uh, so fun time to be had. There's great restaurants in the area, uh, all up and down Main Street. So you will love it, I promise you. And there you have it. That concludes another exciting episode of Celebrate East Lime Day live, and we'll see you on the next live. Have a great rest of your weekend.